yeah it's 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 kind of yeah i uh, kind of okay so right now we just need to apply material and this is simple like just pressing one button but for first voxel because we are generating only one type of voxels so basically mm, we just get to the content and i have prepared some materials uh, okay and we have uh, uh, where it was stream yeah it was stream on sunday <laughs> and we have these elements uh, and i can i have created mask i have created this crack mm, i have created uh, some of these but uh, many of these are just from uh, the web I hope there is not a problem to using this just for learning uh, purposes and we can just import this all so we have a uh, dirt grass grass side leaves log side and everything so basically to get a uh, first material i can just uh, create material from this grass side create material and it will be just a grass side underscore m <coughs> and we can just apply this but uh, everything what I would like to do is just adding uh, parameters and roughness and specular, which will be just uh, zero for specular and roughness one. So it will be just rough material, as you can see. Yeah, it looks like that. And we can just save this and use our uh, material, but it's a voxel actor. So we need to add one material and just maybe just move this uh, material from here to here and compile and play so we can just check how it looks with material eh, okay one more thing because uh, we set material to our array but we need also set in our c plus plus so basically we when we generate our chunk we just go to the point where we just uh, create mesh section and we need uh, uh, okay, but we need, uh, wait a moment, we need uh, applying materials for every single one. So I can just copy this. Uh, so for, for number of materials, I just get my procedural component, this one, and set materials from z for zero index zero material zero yeah because we have this uh, array of materials materials uh, s so like that when i compile it should be right now working so for all materials i will just apply them on my voxels yeah there will be a project uh, for everyone uh, when i finish i I will finish this uh, tomorrow, uh, adding a lot of stuff, uh, which are much simpler than C++. I'm just confused sometimes when I just import a few things, but it's getting better right now, so should be fine. So, <clears throat> when I play, yeah, I'm doing procedural calculations on, uh, on a different process. Uh, no, no, this is not a different process right now. Uh, I'm not using multi-threading but okay so we have uh, our material but as you can notice this is one material for every side so yeah on the top it looks uh, kind of weird uh, everything what we want to do is just adding different material on the top just grass material and on the bottom just oh thank you thank you all right <laughs> and yeah and I lost my point uh, and on the bottom should be uh, dirt material yeah so uh, there is really nice uh, in C++ uh, for our uh, generation creating mesh section we have colors and we can set value from uh, 0 to 255 so every my uh, uh, every <clears throat> single uh, side of my uh, vo voxel right has different value right now 
it's just like transparency value yeah in in this color so i can use this in my material so let's go back and i will show you how i can i can use this it's just something like vertex color and uh, this value is right here so if i just multiply this by 255 I will get a value from yeah the same value like here yeah so I will get that one two three four five yeah so I can just use condition if and check if this is uh, this is exactly the same like one so basically if it's higher it means it's just a uh, left right or front back side yeah of our voxel so we will just apply this material yeah so when it's higher when it's equal it's just a bottom material so i will take my second material uh, maybe this one dirt and third one will be just grass material on the top so it's for uh, this is simple calculations we shouldn't be uh, afraid of this and I can link this as uh, smaller for for zero, and if it's one, it is this one, uh, bottom one, yeah. Because like I said before, first one is just top, then is bottom one, and there is uh, front, back, left, uh, right, and left, yeah, in this order, yeah. So should be fine. Okay, and I can link this. Finally, so we have three materials, and it should be fine. Finally. You, ah, I'm using vertex color, yeah. But only transparency, so I can still use my colors if I need them, yeah. So I, I can just switch colors uh, in real time, yeah, between this. So I can add a lot of effects later on, but yeah, it's just up to up to you and me. <laughs> and let's play and let's check this out. So right now we have these voxels and it's working fine. Yeah, and it's like that. And yeah, okay, so uh, it's just simple generation. All right, <laughs> okay, so uh, the Rhine simplex noise I can set it's just done. So, okay. So it was two hours and 20, uh, 19 minutes, not not so bad. Okay, so right now we will just uh, go to the next point, where we just uh, uh, use other voxels instead of this one, yeah? Because we are using only one material and one type of voxel. But we want to more type of voxels, uh, not only this one. So, uh, I need five minute break and uh, we will be continue wink. <laughs> 